Hey everybody, Landry here. I'm gonna test out the JGX-12. I'm a main battle tank driver, have been for many years. So I'm going to go ahead and test this out. I tried doing it yesterday and just wasn't happy with the, re with the recording results. So I'm trying it again for a second time. This time I think this one's in DAR, okay. Low pop, looks like. Not a lot of fighting going on, so might be a good way to ease into it. Let's test it out. See how it works. <clears throat> so the JGX is supposed to be an artillery weapon. It's thing here says it's a re repurposed excavation equipment. And it's a high yield payload that inflicts high damage to enemy armor even without a direct hit. So I see its damage is 650, which is 200 lower than its AP counterpart and 50 higher than the heat. But its indirect damage is 450 at 2 meters and 150 damage at 5, whereas AP is. 500 at 1 meter, okay, 50 at 3, and for heat, it's 500 at 1 meter and 50 at 4 meters. So you can see here, it's 150 at 5 meters. That's the big difference here. So from four, 1 meter difference, but if you look at Hesh, Hesh is 50 damage at 5 meters and 850 at 2. So it, it's it's almost double. Hesh is almost double JGX at 2 meters, and JGX does more damage at 5 meters, whereas Heat. Uh, so it really, its damage profile really does it at the 5 meter range. And you know, 450. Indirect, whereas 650 direct damage. Zealous's video posited that this is going to end up being a close quarters shotgun range type thing. I don't know. My my early testing of this last month when I was on the test server with the armor pickup squad, it it seemed okay to be done at close range, but I'm not, I don't know. I'm not convinced yet that that's, that's what's, where it's going to be. So let's redeploy and where's the fighting? Is that J9? Okay. But it looks like Quartz Ridge is actually where the fighting is going to be. So let's put down the mobile armor. Indar. And let's hit it. Big ol' cannon. That is huge. First person. And I remember the drop being not too bad. So it was kind of like a fair middle ground between AP and and heat this is a prowler and a lightning right here let's see so here's my close quarters oh they know i'm here <laughs> tank mines oi all right i'm not squatting up so let's go ahead and change that sweeper so there is enemy armor there what 300 that's weird. So let's uh I need to pull it manually in order to get the 225. There's a bug where if you have less than the normal unfiltered asp amount. So right now my asp and the discount is 225, but without the discount, I think it's 360. So if you have less than 300 or less than 360, then you can't auto pull from from a place. So you have to pull it manually, which is fine, but it's just a interesting thing. So here comes that prowler trying to get me. King Snake too. So I'm gonna pop my shield, just kind of Oh. That's not good. Okay, so we're trying to face off. 
Okay, so I was um, I was giving him the benefit of the doubt, but it sounded like he really wanted to go hard instead of me just popping him. I thought he was doing the universal stop firing, let's let's be friends, but it but he instead popped out with some C four. That's my fault for giving him a chance. So now I need to wait a little while longer to pull again. That was a uh, I misclicked some keys there, and that's why I missed them. Oh, that's a bummer. Is that prowler is still there. So I have enough now. Let's just go ahead and. I'm going to pop him. So the, he's got his butt to me. So let's see if I can get him. Yep. And try and ram me. I'm going to pop my shield. Take a lot of damage mitigation. And I'm going to kill you this time. So that took three hits. What's up? It's the real test. Can you kill infantry, though? <laughs> okay, got him. So it wasn't a good start, a good first start, but let's uh, see if we can change that up. Do a little bit of wrapping, and then let's roll. So what we got going on here? Oh, a lot of, lot of splash damage. So I'm going to wrap up and then nice friendly engineering going on. Let's wrap him up too. All right, let's roll. So that was some good close quarter battles. Not too difficult. It seemed like it was pretty easy, but that bullet drop. I'm going to have to pay much more close attention to the bullet drop. It's not going to tell that it's... you got to be careful. Close range. Trying to go... Nice. you got to be careful. Close range. Trying to hit them from third person. Because that seems like you can go over their, their head real, real fast. What is that? Why is that here? Must have been the... I'm, and I missed... So I'm going to go the long way and see what it can do. So that's a pretty, pretty big bullet drop. Going to have to get used to this. Is that a mosquito? Ooh, okay. Is that Prowler? Pop my shield right away. Okay, that was not bad. Let's see if I can hit him. Okay, got him. Let's see if I can bolt drop him again. Whoa. <laughs> okay. So the close quarters is not, uh, that's not a lie. It does pretty good close quarters. That was not, not bad. Let's see what it can do at range. Because I really want to use this cannon in a way that is, you know, befitting what it's supposed to be for. I remember its original description was it was supposed to be an artillery cannon. And and the main thing about artillery is it's supposed to be beyond line of sight. That's how artillery works. Ooh. Got him. Okay. So I was able to blind fire there and get him because of the bullet drop. Not sure that that would have been quite so successful if that were a, a heat or AP round. So the main thing I want to test out here is its ability to touch people beyond just straight arcing. Let's see what I can do about that. So let's see if I can get it in their spawn. Oh, never mind. That's a good example right there. So the splash didn't do anything that it showed. 
But what I want to do is I want to get it in their spawn. Okay. So it arced, but it still hit the roof. Let's see if I can get it. Huh. Okay. I want to get it right beyond on their side of the wall. I can't. I can't really tell. Well, okay, that went far into it. There's a dude right there. Let's see if I can get him. Oh! All right. Not bad. I don't... I think that... So the splash didn't look like it was going to kill anybody, so I must have headshotted him or something. There's my entry right there. So I, got, I need to get it just inside. Okay, so I need to go up a little bit more. So it seems like four ticks is the actual, is, is what you need to be gauging here. Four ticks seems to be level. Which actually isn't too far from heat. Heat rounds kind of have that bullock arc, arc as well, but not near as pronounced. So let's see if I can drop it into the window. Okay, so I was able to drop it into the window. So that splash did damage to him that time. There he is again. My gunner left me. Nice. Nice. Got me. Good job. All right, well, that's a good part one. I think I'm going to try some more targeted testing and a little bit more science in part, part two and beyond. So the initial thoughts, it is good up close range. That's true. But the my thing about that I was skeptical of is that vanguards at close quarters are strong at close quarters, but I generally don't try to be close quarters. Planet side is, a, is mainly, in my opinion, a math game. And I found that when I try to be you know, a big juggernaut, you get focus fire and you die because it's math. It, it, the damage mitigation is not really too much of a thing in tank play. There is directional armor, but I mean, you're not talking world of tanks where you can bounce shots and all that sort of stuff. So you have to play a bit more vanilla and in, in knowing that, you know, damage hit, damage taken is damage hit. So that's kind of how that works. But I'll just stop it here and see i really want to test out like the the artillery bullet drop like that but there there's not enough pop for that to be a thing right now actually let's take a look real quick at the the lightning jgx so 700 damage what hold on so the JGX-12 on the Vanguard does 650, and the Lightning does more? 250, 100. Okay, so it does more indirect damage. Is its velocity the same too? It's less. 200. But barely. Why is that like that? 425. Five and four twenty-five. Interesting. So the JGX allegedly does more damage on the lightning, and it has less muzzle velocity, so it'll have a a tighter arc. That's interesting. Maybe I should test this on the lightning, because that might be an actual artillery cannon. Whereas here it has a little bit more velocity, so it, it's a it's means it's flatter, but not you know near as flat as an AP round, which clocks in at what four hundred something. All right, where is my? I'm in the wrong one. Vanguard. Oh, <laughs> two seventy five. Hmm. Okay. Thought it was much more than that. But in any case. So you can tell the difference between the two. And this has a pretty wide arc, but it's still like, it's still heat arc though. That's the, that's the interesting thing. 
still got a heat arc. So I'm not really sure. I don't think it's going to really differentiate itself, except that I can do more damage with it. Yeah. All right, that's where I'm going to end it. Part one.